Tana Mojo. Tana, Tana, Tana. You're up. We're going to look at what is going on with Miss Tana Mojo. What is going on in her life? It's time, Tana. Let's psychically look into you. Hmm. We're going to find out what is going on in your life. I know she's got an MTV show coming out. Uh, I don't know what the hell else she's going on with her. What's going on with her life? But we're going to find out. We're going to see what's going on with Tana. Is there a scandal coming? Like, girl, what's going on? You know? We got to figure it out, girl. Ooh. And uh, ooh. <laughs> we're trying to figure out Tana. I know she'd be messing around with Jake Paul, but we need to go in today all right let's look Ooh, six of cups first pull wow why is tana so lucky this is the luck. i'm gonna tell you this right now tana mojo is the luckiest person i've ever seen in my life i've never seen anyone luckier than tana mojo i have never seen her luckier i cannot even believe this so the Six of Cups is the past, right? And then we see the Ace of Swords, which is an opportunity. Okay, and the Ace of Wands, which is the birth of something new. Now, this is a couple of things. First and foremost, she's getting two... <laughs> I can't believe this. She has two offers that are about to come to her from a completely different spectrum. Like this... So we know she's doing, like, the... Um, we know she's going to be doing the uh, MTV stuff. But the Ace of Swords is upright and the Ace of Wands, which means she's going to have two opportunities to do new things that she would she never has done before. These are two brand new things, completely out of her element, so different to anything she's done before. They And and honestly, I can't even believe she's going to nail these things. They're like actual like celebrity things. <laughs> like she's actually like... It's actually insane right now. I can't even believe this. These are two things. The Six of Cups um, means that uh, one of them should be something that was given to her a while ago and fell through. <clears throat> and it's going to come back around restructured and being offered to her. I, 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 I can't even believe this. <laughs> I can't even believe this. She's going to have two brand new offers. One of them is a restructured one from the past. It's something. It's to do something she hasn't done before. Um, however, I will also tell you this. I pulled the King of Wands and I pulled the King of Cups, okay? And then the Two of Cups up by with the Ace of Wands. So there are two main guys that are going to be vying for her attention romantically. Um, I see her bouncing between both of them for a while. The Ace of Wands is the dick card, by the way. So... Um, yeah, these are, these are, this very clearly romantic interests with these two cards. Um, I don't think that either one of them are that great, to be honest with you. She needs to be very, very careful, and hopefully she sees this, because the Six of Pentacles is reversed. I mean, the Six of Pentacles upright with the Page of Pentacles reversed, which means that they are reliable as long as the money is flowing. Page of Pentacles means that expectations here are low and more around money than they are anything else the strength card is upright which is stubbornness which means they have a history of doing this yep there would be her queen of pentacles that'd be her job the nine of cups not getting what she wants and the five of swords pettiness and petty issues she needs to be careful of two cloud chasers period there are two cloud chasers that are going to be interested in her two very 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 big cloud chasers potential fire sign and and, and water sign um, since it's cups and, and wands, uh, it's a hundred percent, uh, people that are just going to use her. She also needs to be careful because I pulled the ace of wands. So remember the ace of wands is a pregnancy card sometimes. So I'm hoping that there's not some sort of like rumor spread about her through one of these guys about pregnancy. Cause sometimes that could be a rumor that's spread about pregnancy from her that would not be very, very good for her brand. So let's kind of hope that, uh, that doesn't happen um because i'm seeing the star reverse which is about an exposure and the seven of cups which is like a fantasy so it means it's fluffed up and the world reverse which is the solution to a problem the ending of something yep there's the internet um the ten of pentacles upright and the queen of swords so this is going to be something she said or texted to one of the one of these boys i'm worried i don't know what this is but expect text messages or dms to be exposed yeah, look, the Fool's Reverse and the Page of Wands. So it's um, it's manipulative in terms of how it's being presented. Page of Wands is reversed with um, 
four of us, which means don't be naive, don't be stupid. Um, because the seven of pentacles is like laziness and complacentness. Um, and it's like enjoying what's in front of you. So what that means is that, uh, it's a little bit sloppily put together. Essentially it's, it, it'd be like if you, if you, if you cut off half of a conversation and only showed one part of the conversation and it looked bad because you pulled it out of context, that's kind of what this is going to be like. Ten of Cups, the verse, Three of Swords, and I even pulled the Hierophant. Oh, this is coming from her ex. This this is coming from her ex, for sure. Or at least someone she had some sort of connection with. Because the Knight of Swords are reversed, which means he's not a knight in shining armor and he's selfish. Bad intentions. Justice cards upright, the Ace of Pentacles, which means she's going to potentially threaten to sue him. Yeah, Justice upright, Ace of Pentacles, money reverse. Yep, there's the Emperor and the Two of Swords is reversed. Someone she's going to separate from. Five of Wands, she's going to avoid it at all costs. There's the Exposure. The Moon is reversed, which means she'll have to make a video about it. King of Swords is reversed, which means he might make a video about it. And the Four of Pentacles is Selfishness. Well, Nine of Cups up by Eight of Cups reverse and the Eight of Wands. She's going to learn a lot of valuable lessons about her emotions and how to handle them. Also, how relationships should or shouldn't be. The Ten of Wands reverse. I need her to not get into a relationship. I know there's going to be more guys after her. I need her to not get into a relationship. I actually think that she's going to get to a point where she's going to realize that she doesn't need a relationship because she seems to be someone that feels like she needs to have someone. She doesn't need it. Um, the Magician's Reverse, the Judgment card is reverse, and the Four of Swords. So you're going you're gonna to see uh, Tana transition uh, uh, image-wise. Um, so uh, brands are obviously not happy with the way she's been projecting herself. So once these new opportunities come, once the show starts, uh, you're going to see her start to change her image completely. Um, if she hasn't got a new management company yet, she will. Um, you might see her separate from her manager. King of Pentacles is reverse, Two of Wands, the Fight, and the Chariot's upright. So... I think her manager's Jordan. Either he's going to hand off something that he usually does, or she's separating from himself, from him. Yep, Five of Pentacles would be someone who's in charge of her, a backstabbing, a betrayal, and the Queen of Wands would be her, her getting angry. Yeah, I see. Yep, there's Three of Pentacles job, Queen of uh, uh, Nine of Swords, overthinking and stress. Uh, either he's going to be losing something that he usually does, or she's going to be separating from him. Either way, she needs to pay attention to what he's been doing. If she's not aware of this, he's kind of screwing her over inadvertently, um, or maybe directly. I can't really tell one way or another, but... Uh, yeah, definitely seems to be an issue there. I'm going to pull it from the Dark Miracle or or Oracle deck. Um, I don't think, I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's really stealing of money as much as it's like not trying as hard as he could. It's interesting here. I wonder if he's been using her name to get things for himself. Wow. I'm telling you, she's about to be catapulted into a different level of fame. Queen of my own world, naked before the stars and colorless angel. Detaching from things, being on her own, and this here would be like being a, a new a new level of celebrity. Sacrifice. You're going to see her remove a lot of people from her life, you guys. She's going to be removing a lot of people from her life. A lot of people are being removed. This is a complete transition, a complete change. It's a maturity. She needs to be careful not to isolate herself. She also needs to be careful um, with the queen of my own world. She might, she has to work. I am a little bit worried about her ego because that means like she might get a little bit controlling. And, you know, if you make your own world, it's really not that enjoyable because you're the only one happy in it. So she needs to be worried about that, you know, proper levels of removing people. Um, but at the same time, you have to make sure that, you know, you're not getting rid of everyone and then being like basically surrounded by yes men. So I'm a little bit worried about that. You know, this is going to be a trying time for her. <sighs> at least I didn't see like a, I didn't see like a giant scandal. I see an expose. But I don't see like a giant a giant scandal. I'm actually kind of surprised. Where's the devil card? <laughs> I was expecting to pull the devil or something like that. But justice is upright too. So I don't know, you guys. You, I, I can't believe this girl is so lucky. I, I She really needs to thank the stars. If I were Tana Mojo, I would literally be like praying every single day because this girl has nine lives and she's the luckiest girl I've ever seen. I've, I've done so many readings on her and she gets on, she gets away with no matter what she does. Like she gets away with anything. She's always successful. She must be like a really good natured person deep down 
because that's the only way that you could you be you could be able to gain success like this over and over again. She has to be like pure a pure soul on the inside. Like she has to be. There's no other way. There's no possible way she would be able to get all these things and manifest all the stuff for her if she wasn't good natured on the inside. So, um, I'm you're. I mean, she's on life like what like seven at this point, baby. She's gonna soar. I, she's the it girl. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you guys. She's the it girl. I don't know how. You, if you hate Tana Mojo, you're in a party of like one at this point because <laughs> I don't. I don't see anyone. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all better start standing. Y'all better start getting shit now from her because she's going to start being even more freaking famous. I mean, you should see her platforms like double and triple in size, you guys. I'm not kidding. This is crazy. Well, congratulations, Tana. Uh, be single for a while, please. <laughs> be careful of all of the people you have around you. It's okay to upgrade, right? amicably upgrade when you get to a new level of success and fame it's okay to amicably upgrade so you know just you know don't split or don't change people you know and change things you know just because um but yeah that's what i see for tana um yeah if you guys uh really love that reading make sure you subscribe uh and follow me on twitter instagram twitch amphrodite uh go to amphrodite.com for your own personal private readings uh, and if you have any suggestions on celebrities you want me to do or anything like that, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments below. <sighs> I'm just shook, as always. <laughs> Bye, guys.